Welcome back to the shop. It's Monday, the 6th of January, 2020. Hi, everybody. That is it. We are into a new year. Before you know it, we're going to be saying this week. New year's over and it's, uh, we're getting ready for 2021. 2021 is my retirement year. Yeah, it's not too far away. So, yeah, just one more year. That's it. Well, two more years of working. But if you if you try to do the math right, it sounds like one more year. It's, it's actually like a year and eight months. Yeah, so not too bad. Not too bad. All righty, guys. Uh, let's move on and talk about what's been going on. All right. All right, this week in the shopping projects completed. First of all, uh, we got our uh, stuff from Amazon that we ordered. Now, this is two new pin turning man, uh, mandrails that uh, uh, we needed. Michael was cut, uh, cutting the pin, turning the pin the other day, and the mandrel bent on him. So I went ahead and got a replacement one for that, and then we got another one uh, as a backup. So we always have one so we don't run into the situation where we were the other day where Michael was trying to turn some pins and then we kind of got stuck. Once those mandrels get bent, there's no need trying to reuse them because they've got too much wobble in there. But anyhow, we've got that taken care of. Wobble? Wobble, baby, wobble, baby. <laughs> um, you know, man, I don't know, we might get censored for that. Uh, anyhow, uh, Red worked on some cutting boards and did some sanding. Now, if you remember, we've talked about this several times before that Everywhere you look in the shop, here's a board, there's a board, there's a board, there's a board, there's a board. We've got all these boards that are really kind of cutting board size yeah. and just kind of been sitting around. Where we Some, cut things yeah. down into yeah. pieces to make other stuff for yeah. me. Exactly. Some of them are intentional, but most of this stuff is uh, stuff that just cut off. And we said, hey, that's going to make a great cutting board. Let's hang on to it. And long story short, we've got a ton of that stuff. So that's going to be one of our primary focuses the first part of this year is get all those cleaned up and ready to go. Go where? Go to some sales. And we'll talk Yay! more about that in just a little bit. Uh, Lorena, we put, uh, Lorena put away all of the uh, Christmas stuff. So we are now de Christmas. Uh, looks like it'll probably in, you know, maybe put up maybe 10, 15 minutes and heck, it'll be Christmas time again. Uh, but it's uh, it's up for now. Got some cleaning up doing uh, Mom Cave because it's, uh, it's, it's uh, a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. And we got a shed that we're going to do behind the uh, Mom Cave and that's for all the Christmas, Halloween, and uh, a lot of that stuff that the uh, kids left here. Um, and they've been kind of sitting around. We're going to put a, a little shed in behind there so that we can... Uh, easy access yeah, easy to get access to... And open up some room in the mom cave because this is going to be a busy year for us. Um, I picked up the material for the uh, uh, the fence that I want to say that's going to cut the pasture in half by... Well, not really in half, probably a third and two-thirds uh, over there. And the reason we're doing that is keep the horse away from where we're going to be storing all our lumber in these greenhouses we're getting. Um, that's Tink Bell. She's upset because Maggie's over there chewing on a bone. Uh, but anyhow, long story short, uh, I got the fencing all together for that. And that's probably about a 30 to 45 minute job when we get jumping on that as soon as the weather clears. Milhan Michael, Daniel and myself, we were all over at Daniel and Kimmy's this weekend working on the shed. That's right. We uh, got kicked off the new year by working on the shed. Now, let me tell you kind of what happened. We were supposed to get two days of pretty much nothing but sunshine. Rain was supposed to end somewhere around 8 o'clock Saturday morning. Unfortunately, it hung around till about 4 o'clock in the, the afternoon. afternoon. Yeah. So we kind of would work and stop, work and stop, but we didn't want to get the, the wood all soaking wet. So it really left us in a quandary on on. Uh, on a on Saturday. Yeah, it left us in a <laughs> heck of a mess on sa Saturday. So uh, we got to work on it Sunday. Got a lot done on Sunday. We've got everything pretty much prepped. Now it's just kind of putting everything together. But we did get the rim joist in, the floor joist all in, some of the plywood down to hold it nice and square for us, to hold the, the, the shop floor or the shed floor nice and square. We've got all the uprights ready. All we have to do is put the uprights up, put in the, um, uh, the uh, bracing so it doesn't want to rack and then put the roof on it and we've got all the material, picked yep. all the material up. Uh, along that note, on Saturday evening, Daniel and I put a new CPS, that's a cam position sensor, in the F-350, my F-350. Yay. It kind of catastrophically died while we were over there last Wednesday celebrating New Year's Day. We went to leave and it just kind of died. We did some research on that. About the only thing that really does that is the camp position sensor. We put it in Saturday. I drove it around a little bit around Daniel's neighborhood. Did fine until I went to leave, and it kind of felt like I thought maybe a hesitation in the in the truck. So I parked it. Mama come over and pick me up. Probably pick the truck up sometime this week. Yeah. We're going to get it where if we have to have it towed, there's enough daylight that it's not dangerous to do. I don't think that's going to be a problem, though, because it really did run really well once we put the camp position sensor in there. Um, 
Tank. And Tank is still upset. Um, and then probably the big news is is we had a heck of a uh, couple of days over at Daniel and Kimmy's. On uh, New Year's Day, we uh, did a ham. Uh, oh, yeah. Ham that was really ham. good. And then yesterday, we did a Boston butt for some hash and some pulled pork. Yeah, because so, Kimmy yeah. didn't get her hash for her birthday. That's it was right. too chaotic, yeah, so it was just chaotic. she got her hash. Yeah, it was we, a little late, but yeah. she got it. Yeah, I think it came out. It came out delicious. Good. Pretty good. All right, guys. Uh, just like say, oh, I'd like to say thank you, Daniel and Kimmy, for hosting, hosting another party. Right, yeah. Guys. All right. It's awesome. Let's move on. Let's move on. Mm. Now, chocolate's really good tonight because of that cold weather that slid in. Upcoming for two dogs, we are going to finish Kimmy's shed when i don't know because our entity excuse me already though it's so hard to even say it's breaking my heart <laughs> uh, it's uh it's supposed to rain all next weekend yeah good news is is the weekend after that's going to be a three-day weekend and i think we should be able to get it done then hopefully we'll get at least one clear day because really all we need is about eight hours but we're going to finish kimmy's shed very kimmy's shed done i'm going to fence off this pasture over here and i probably Let's say at the max there is 45 minutes worth of work left to do on well, that. All we got to do is run the wire, right? Yeah, run the wire. Put the clips on the, the uh, on the uh, T-post and run the wire and make a little bit of a gate in there. We're going to do a better gate later, but right now we're just going to get it fenced off so we can start doing some milling. And we need a place to put that wood once we mill it, and that's going to be in the greenhouse over there. And I think, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Might yeah. be, we're going to see how this one holds up, and then if yeah. it holds up well, we may get some other ones that open yeah. at the ends or you yeah. know something that, that, yeah, that might gonna, be a little more structural yeah, get or a, something. Get a, uh, get a couple more yeah. of those because I think they're going to work well. Uh, we're going to start sawing. That's right. We're going to start milling here. We've got to. We've got to start. We've got logs everywhere. We've got everywhere. Logs everywhere. We've got logs everywhere i mean i don't really feel comfortable bringing any more on the property right now we just got so much but our goal is is going to be a thousand board feet a weekend you're saying what holy cow yeah it sounds like a lot but if you think that the lt15 can easily cut 305 board feet an hour with three people working on it really and me and michael uh milham michael have kind of already proved we can cut 250 board feet in an hour relatively easy, so we'll be doing that. And our goal is, is we're going to try to get a thousand board feet over a weekend. And that's not just cut; that's cut and stacked and ready to dry. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. Well, Loretta is looking for shows to do. She's Any shows? Some shows. Yes. We're trying to get some shows. I'd like to do shows pretty much from March all the way up until next December, including the summer. But we at least one a month. Shows. Yeah, you know, we want to do summer shows, hopefully inside somewhere. Um, and she's also looking for new projects to do. I yeah, if you find anything ideas. that yeah. you that you yeah. think is cute yeah. that I could do yeah. easily, yeah. ship let it to know. me. Yeah, let us know. Let us know. Um, and then we need desperately need more pictures of Maggie for the end of this video for our video. So we need to get uh, Michaela working on that for us. All right, guys, let's move on. Mm mm mm. Well, that's about it for this evening. Do you have anything? Just thank Kimmy and Daniel again for another hosting of a wonderful party. Thank yeah. Kimmy for loving hash so much that we got to have it again. All right. Yeah. And um, hopefully another great year for everybody with, yeah. with lots of blessings and, and fun stuff. Yeah, we're looking forward to a new year and new things. Well, I do think that's really about it for this evening. As always, we'd like to say thank you for watching the videos. And remember, we'd love to see you back in the shop.